My name is John Erskine and I'm the Director of Geological and Environmental Sciences at Granite Rock. Well, this is pretty exciting. In 2014, we first started thinking about the idea of solar energy independence, doing things green, and we kind of hatched this plan. And we got our first one megawatt solar installed and operational in 2018. And around that time, we started thinking, you know, what else can we do? What are the other opportunities? And that's when we started meeting with APAL, and they encouraged us, well, hey, you know, what can Granite Rock do? Are there additional opportunities to bring uh, green energy to the Aromas area. My name is Leslie Austin. I'm an Aromas resident. I've lived here since 1986. Aromas is one of those really unique communities. You know, we sit within the recessed corners of three counties, essentially. We really don't have a lot of infrastructure or government support. We're not incorporated. We're not really a part of each of these three counties in any sort of significant ongoing way. It has created this opportunity for the community to actually come together and do pretty significant work together. And one of those things is this project with Granite Rock. Many of us in the community of Aromas formed an Aromas Progressive Action League after the 2018 election. And the purpose of that was really that people were really unsettled by the election and to take that energy and put it to good use and started focusing on different issues. One of those issues was climate. Um, there were several others, by the way, we were working on uh, things like immigration and health care. Um, but the climate group formed, and within a very short period of time, Seth came up with this idea that if we could, in fact, make a building carbon-free or net zero, couldn't we do that with an entire community? And of course, Granite Rock was the biggest user of power in the community, and so they had to be our first knock on the door. Oh, my name is Seth Capron, and I moved to Aromas in 1970. You know, Aromas was a really different place back then. Uh, it was, seemed like the middle of nowhere. Um, but the, I, the thing I valued, I think, the most about living in Aromas is the, the community. There just seems like there's a lot of really caring and committed people. I've been involved over the years in a lot of different projects and efforts with, and it's, it's a great little community. It just made sense to talk to Granite Rock because they're the biggest electrical user by far in this region. And a conversation got started and it just developed from there. I mean, we had lots and lots of meetings together and the Granite Rock team was very receptive. And, you know, we found out they'd already done a, a one megawatt project right here at the quarry. And so it was a really satisfying collaboration. So now we're at this exciting point where after years and years of planning and analysis and all these things, we're finally at the point where we're breaking ground. We're moving dirt, we've graded out the pad, we're ready to go. But the exciting part is that it's 15,000 solar modules and that's about five megawatts of energy. I mean, that's just a huge amount of energy. This is one of the biggest behind the meter or net metered solar projects in California, in PG&E's territory, which means basically there's nobody doing a bigger solar project than Granite Rock that's not an energy company. I mean, we're really punching above our weight. And it just, it's working out. I mean, it's great because it's green, it saves us money, the communities love it, you know, everyone's behind this. So it's just, it's a really exciting time.